Welcome to Alpes d'Huez, where it's right at the end of a stunning day up here. It's just before New Year 22, 23. And everything I've been reading so far in the, in the press, in the web and everything has been about how bad conditions are because of the rain that we had over the last few days. So I figured I'd wait right until the end of the day. I've just finished work, just given my, tu my students back to their, their parents and the teenagers I've got this week. I'll shut up for one very last run just to show you how good the conditions are. And actually that's the takeaway. Don't cancel your holidays yet. The conditions are great. How good is the snow, you guys? So this is right at the end of the day. Everyone's on that last run home. And actually I'm just next to Folly Deuce. I've just kind of cut off to the side. So chances are there's going to be a couple of wild skiers coming down after having a little drink or two. Straight into this steepish red run. Now you can hear a little bit of crispness underfoot for sure. But it's definitely not horrible. And just all over the place, there's this nice soft fluffy powder that's just been picked up through the day skiing. Now just now, I'm just below 2,300 meters, so this is right on the freezing line from when we had that big rainfall over the last few days. So you should see some changes as we come through here. Now this little bit of monitor comes through here. I said I'm deliberately aiming for what's going to be the worst bit, and I know it is. This is one of the bottleneck areas where three or four different pieces all come together. Hence why we're now into this Mowgli area. A little bit scratchy in between the moguls, but actually very soft around them. Go it right down. Just to make sure I'm safe with everyone around here. Actually kind of reminds me of spring conditions where everything's perfectly groomed, really nice first thing, softens up in the morning and then starts to get a bit trapped out like this later on in the afternoon. But I mean, that really wasn't that bad. Pretty good, still really soft, you can hear it now. Back into another little Mowgli barrier. <laughs> Definitely soft snow through there. I always get questions on these with these ride along sessions actually. So while I'm coming through this plateau here, it's 2,100 meters, another little crisscross area, right in the middle of New Year's holidays, of course, it's packed everywhere. But the question I commonly get is, how am I filming this and why aren't I using one of my poles? So just so we're on the same page, my right hand right now is holding the camera, it's an Insta360 X3. So I can spin it around, you can see my view in front of me and that beautiful sunset. And actually, if I lower it down here, Put it just behind my, just behind my pole. Should be able to see how good this snow is that I'm skiing on. Firm, sure, but grippy. Nice. So it's got to be easy around the traffic again. But yeah, nice grippy snow. Actually, I'm trying to find them, but I can't even see any brown bits. I wanted to say there's some thin bits around, and they're just not here. Bring it back out in front of me now. Look at that. This is lovely. This isn't, this isn't holiday cancelling conditions that I've seen a lot of people writing about. The Alps are ruined. Don't come here. I reckon that's been written by someone in office back home that hasn't had the opportunity that I've got right now to fly down this lovely green run. This is called the, uh, the Combi Attention, this green piece. Wide open, 
motorway style piece with tons of room look even though it's packed i've got a good little corridor and i can some fun in down here this is now 1800 meters just above that Whee! still looks pretty perfect on the piece not sure if i wanted to cut off the side just here this is as a cross between two different pieces. Well, that gets a little bit rattly. Actually, we're gonna have to jump over that bit. But first thing this morning, we are right up top. Some really nice snow just above 2,500 meters. Some really good off piece that we were skiing in up there. And then this is one of the classic beginner areas here in Abduez. And you can hear how that snow's changed. Sure, the cannons have been on. Peace Bash is going up every night, churning it all up, putting it back down. Oh, come on, these conditions are pretty sterling, gotta be honest. If this is your first time on the channel, by the way. Don't forget to hit subscribe. I'll try and get some sort of weather condition report like this. Report, that makes it sound formal. Just give you a little update of what's going on every couple of weeks or so if I can. Actually, this is the point. I can be honest on this one. Look. To the left of me just now, as I drop just below them, the buildings here, this piece is usually a little bit wider. That kind of gives you a, a little sense of how good they have been looking after the piece. It usually goes all the way to that new magic carpet tunnel on the left, but it's a little bit narrower than it is normal. But what we're skiing on doesn't make a difference at all. Just don't go down there on the left. Anyhow, thanks for joining me. Whack that subscribe button, and I will see you at some point out here in Outdoors. Thanks very much.